Hello, y'all. This is Viking Zone 18, episode 43, and we are gathered here today for a big, big episode. Terrence, let's read some questions. The first question is from St. Louis Sports Fan 94. His question is, why so much hate for the hate -nos? For the Cardinals. Hate them. I hate them. I'm nothing against you, St. Louis fan. I just, I'm not a Cardinals fan. They're my least favorite team in all sports. Um, I hope we can still be friends. I don't hate the Cardinals. I'm pretty much neutral about them. But I do respect their um, holiday. That's right, National Cardinal Day. I hear you guys have that holiday down in Missouri. So that's pretty cool. Next question reads... Yes... Which Big Ten team has the best uniforms besides the Gophers? And that is from MooCow002. Terrence, what do you think? Well, the best uniforms are the Gophers. Yes. But, but besides the Gophers in the Big Ten, you got to go with the Fighting Illini. Respectable, respectable, all those weird stripes that make no sense. You just got to respect them. And then they had an alternate helmet against Penn State. The blue with the eye, beautiful. Interesting choice, but I'm going to have to disagree with you on that one. The best uniforms in the Big Ten besides the Gophers have got to go to Indiana. The cream and the crimson. You know they just they straight up copied Oklahoma's, right? I think Oklahoma copied Indiana. Personally. No, they, they beat them by years. Years. I don't think so. And also, they need to... One thing that would make it perfect is the candy striped pants need to go on the football pants as well. Okay, we will be heading into the show today. And we're going to start off with a time we like to call Silly Songs with Vikings Own. Well, this Silly Songs thing, in case you're wondering, I'm going to recap what happened in Minnesota sports in the tune of a song. And the random song I'm trying to house I uh, out of a hat is Take Me Out to the Ball Game. All right. The Minnesota Vikings won 32-7. The Gophers had a bye week. Next week they play Northwestern Wildcats, so let's root, root, root for the Vikings and the Gophers as well. For it's one, two, three championships that will be won soon enough. Because of the Lynx, right? Yeah. The Lynx, the Gophers, they're, and the Vikings. Good. Okay, that was a beautiful song. Now let's recap what he said. The Vikings won. 30 to 7. In take on that game? I take my take on the game is that they simply dominated because the Vikings are an elite Super Bowl team this year. It's pretty much obvious by now for all the haters that still yeah. doubt us. Just look at how good we are. And people are like, oh, weak schedule. We beat the 49ers. We killed the, the 49ers. 49ers. Who are regarded as the best team in the NFL. We dominated them, okay? And, and our only competition in the NFC North is the Bears. Yes, so we're pretty much guaranteed NFC North champions, all right? Yes, yes, yes. And just the play of Ponder and Peterson together, that yes. is a duo kind of like... Um, Sean Green and Mark Sanchez a couple of years ago. In the playoffs, I guess, but yes. they're, they're much better. I mean, Adrian Peterson oh, yeah. and Ponder we are, are better, better of that. But, like, when you think about it, when does a good quarterback have a great running back, and when does a great running back have a good quarterback? Yes, it seems these days that it's either one or the other. The Patriots like, have Tom Brady, but they don't have a great running back. Peyton Manning has Wills McGahee. He's not elite, okay? Okay, and then let's think. Well, Frank Gore's elite. Is Alex Smith elite? No. Okay, let's go to the Bills. Spiller and Jackson are elite, but is Fitzpatrick elite? No. Okay, let's go to um, Tampa Bay. Is anyone elite in Tampa Bay? No. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, Tampa fans. Uh, sorry. Just had to throw that one out there. We're sorry. <laughs> okay, okay. Tonight, there's an NFL Network game, which I we have because my dad pays for my cable. Yes, okay. we have every channel. The first, tonight's game is... Pittsburgh at Tennessee. Pittsburgh wins that one. I'm actually going with the Titans here. Because the Titans just lost to our Vikings, who are great. And they're going to think, oh, we only lost to the best team in the NFL by 23. 
they're going to have confidence, and that's going to give them the win. Okay, when you think of Ohio, you think of... Ohio State Buckeyes. And they play... Uh, football. Yes, they play and football. And there's two pro football teams in Ohio. The two. Face already for the second time this there's year. There's two in Ohio. Yes, and they've already faced once this year. It is the Bengals at the Browns. I got the Browns because the Browns don't lose in their stadium. I got the Browns as well because Trent Richardson has been a solid player. Oh, and congrats to having your third kid. Yes, see, he's a father, a family man, and everything. Not a murderer, though. Correct, he is not a thug like some players in the NFL are. Don't misjudge him. He is a great guy. Yes. Okay, we got the upset-minded Colts, because they beat the Packers. Woohoo! Well, that wasn't really an upset, because the Packers are really bad. Yeah, they have the, yeah, they suck. Against the Jets. The Jets are bad. I got the Colts and Andrew Luck, and... Please, please pray for their coach. The Jets are bad as ice. And I've got the Colts as well. 30 to 9. Okay, we got the awful Lions at the Eagles. I'm going Eagles. I'm going the Lions because of this. Matthew Stafford's stats against the Eagles and his years of starting have been phenomenal. I'm just going to have to take him as the advantage here. Okay, we got New England at Seattle. I got New England because New England is New England, and they will play New England football in Seattle. I'm going to have to agree with this one because New England has, um, they have Ridley, Golden Tate is on Seattle. That's all. Okay. Now we got the Sunday Night Football. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, the Packers at the top. Dens. I got to go with Texans. The, the te Texans, I'm sorry. The Texans are going to win. okay, Taryn. In Reliance Stadium. And even if it was in Lambeau, the Packers suck. Yes, the Packers are terrible. Okay, they're an absolute joke football team. The Texans are a great football team. I think it's pretty obvious who's going to win. The Texans win easily. Taryn, what's the next game that we're going to pick? We got the Vikings at the RG3 Skins. Yes, the Redskins, and the Vikings are going to win this. The Redskins are a good team. Good rookie Don't get me wrong. They are a good team, but they have no match for the them. The Vikings are just too elite. Okay? Yes. We're talking about the best team in the NFC, probably the NFL, against a decent but not great team. The Vikings win 28-10. to 10, Okay. Okay. I agree. We win 27-9. to 9. Oh. Ooh, yeah, but... um. The reasoning is my key to success is the Washington Nationals. We got to set their star on the bench, which we will. RG3 is going to get hurt just like Strasburg. Now, that would be a funny story, but RG3 got hurt last week, so it kind of already happened in a way. But he's coming back, so we're going to boom him again. Oh, yeah, we are. RG3 is a good quarterback, but no match for the Vikings, D. How about the Vikings, Day? Okay, we will be moving on to the Gophers next. We had a bye. We don't have a bye this week. Um, Oregon State Beavers are ranked 10th in the nation. Give How me a take that? on that. I think they're better than Oregon. They're the best team in the state of Oregon. They're only going to keep improving, and they're only going to get better because they are a dominant team, and they got good recruit. Yeah. Okay, before we break down the Gopher game, yes. we're going to do college game day alerts. Which head will Lee Corso put on at Notre Dame? Does he have the guts to go with Stanford, or does he go with a smart pick at Notre Dame? I, when we're not predicting the game, we are predicting what Lee Corso does. We're predicting his prediction. Yes. I think Lee Corso puts on a Stanford tree, gets the crowd mad, rips it off, puts on a Notre Dame hat before someone gets angry. Well, I predict that he will predict Stanford, because... Who doesn't want to wear the tree for a head? Um, a guy that starts with S doesn't. He's a big Notre Dame fan. That would be Stephen Cullinan. Yes, well, anyways, that's going to be a good matchup. College football is going to be a great week. The Gophers, you know, what do you see in that game? I see us wearing some helmets with pride. That means, in like football terms, yes. we are going to show them who's boss in the Big Ten, redeem ourselves from the Iowa game, mm -hmm. and we will be back on track with a 500 record in the Big Ten looking for the Rose Bowl. Because my key to the game is Marquise Gray 
Of course he is. He's a playmaker. Game changer. Winner. And guess what? We have that intelligence to kill you with. Okay. All right. We are going to win this easily. We are not going to lose another Big Ten game. We are a Rose Bowl team, okay? So I predict the Gophers win. Northwestern's a bit overrated. They started off undefeated, but that's just because they really didn't play anybody. And, you know, they got kind of lucky. But not us. No, not us. Okay, everybody. Today we promised we'd have a guest speaker. And we asked around the, um, the, the university. Yes. And... Between the two of Jimmy Davis and Stephen A. Smith and Skip Bayless, the three, we asked all three which one we should call Jimmy won in the landslide. Yes, uh, we were. We don't uh, even have uh, Skip Bayless and Stephen A. Smith's number. But we would have got them on. We, we have our ways of getting those people. Okay, but I'm going to call Jimmy our baseball expert. He is a baseball fan, okay? We are now calling Jimmy. Yes, he's the baseball expert. He will give us baseball insight on the playoffs so far. If he doesn't pick up, he's a liar because he told us he would. Correct. This is not just a random call. Oh, one more chance. We will give him one more chance. Maybe he just got out of class or something. He's a lot of makeup work to do. Yes, he was gone for a while. But, um, Jimmy would never miss a Viking zone. He hung up on us. That uh, makes us, we have to call him one more time. Just yes, to make him we, mad. We must get him on the show. We need his baseball insight. We, we, we know our baseball, but we don't know it like Jimmy Davis. This is a public service announcement. Do not pee in our backyard. Yeah. We're pissed whoever off. That, we are that. mad. Seriously, our who did that? Okay, Jimmy's question. gone. Okay. Baseball, I guess, um, it looks like the A's are tied with the Tigers. Yes, the A's came back from 2-0 down in the series. It's now tied at 2. Would you like to analyze that? Okay. Well, Coco Crisp has a cool name, and yes. he got a big hit. And how about let's break down the Cardinals and Washington series. Yes. It looks like the Cardinals might upset of the century. Yes, this would be a massive upset. And um, it's because they, uh, they've they been playing better. That's why. They've been outscoring the Nationals. And that's why they've been winning. My, my reason to the Cardinals' success is last year they were going for their 11th championship in 11. 11 for 11. Now? This year it's 12 for 12. 12 They might 12. win it all until 2020. Just because of that. Okay, everybody. Give us your intake. Please leave a comment about that and more baseball. And we will answer it next week, but we are running out of time. So, before we do shout-outs, we got to ask our viewers a question. Yes, we do. Leave a comment on this video if you'd rather have Viking Zone buy a cream pie or an Xbox with the birthday money from his grandma. Yes. He loves cream pie, but he needs an Xbox. His other one broke, but he loves cream pie. And it's delicious. So leave your comment, but now it's shout outs. Shout outs. Shout out. Shout outs. My shout out is to number 35 on the Carolina Panthers. Good work out there, bud. Good job, yes. My shout out is to dog mascots like Georgia's. And Tennessee's and others like uh, any other mascot that's a dog and they actually use a real dog because that is awesome I want to I want that dog I want a pet dog it's a mascot Taco Bell we need yeah the Taco Bell dog we we need that we need a live gopher at every game okay that would be awesome I don't get why more teams don't do this it's just flat out wrong okay apparently Jimmy was in class yeah Vikings own out